Hi guys, what's up? I hope all of you are doing well. Welcome back to our channel once again. And today we will be discussing about a short audio trick. So most of us have an old sound system or a home theater system lying around uh, which we are not using anymore because uh, maybe uh, that system does not have a wireless uh, Bluetooth feature or NFC feature and uh, you are thinking about like exchanging that with a new pair of uh, speaker system which has all the wireless functionalities. So today in this video we will be showing you how to convert any normal speaker system into wireless Bluetooth speaker system without uh, breaking your bank balance. So let's get into it and let's see how it is done. So we have the setup over here which are required for the Bluetooth connectivity of normal speaker system. So this is the Bluetooth, uh, USB Bluetooth setup. This is a U, uh, USB device and uh, we have a power adapter for powering the Bluetooth device. I have the Powertronics 2.1 amp fast charging power adapter for this use and obviously a power source. So let's get to the unboxing of this and uh, let's see which things uh, we get inside the box so I got this product for uh, the price is around uh, 399 rupees but I got it for around 195 rupees that is three dollars as opposed to the original 399 price which is six dollars so and 50% discount I got so relatively it is much cheaper uh, solution Usually we go to a store to buy Bluetooth speaker system so which uh, uh, takes around extra 10 to 20 dollars at least for just the Bluetooth connectivity. So here you can get your job done for only 3 dollars. That's very very cheap. So inside the uh, packaging we get this uh, Bluetooth adapter. So uh, and apart from that we get an uh, cable auxiliary cable so the adapter has a USB jack and a 3.5 mm standard headphone jack for outputting the audio the build quality is pretty good not bad I would I would suggest that it will accept a fall from the hand and not break and this is the auxiliary cable but it is not gold plated and the build quality also feels a bit flimsy or cheap not that great well you can uh, buy aftermarket market auxiliary cables for better quality and price so let's get into it guys and we'll see how it works so we'll be connecting the USB power and then connect to the USB port of this device. So let's connect it and let's power it on. So we can see that the USB started blinking over here. That means it's ready for accepting connection. So we'll be using the Moto X style for connecting brightness go to settings Bluetooth and turn it on so it will be searching for devices if it finds any so see we found an audio device named yet me so we'll connect it it's pairing So it is connected sometimes it may prompt for an passcode you need to give just 0000, 000, 000, 000 as passcode it's the default passcode okay so we can connect our headphone jack of the speaker system so 
that's connected and we can play some music let's try also if you connect it will show connect it will make a connect sound and if you disconnect it will make a disconnect sound so I'll be open you to that sound and some music Let's play this one. So it's playing via Bluetooth. no connections are there no wired connections from the phone are there the sound quality is pretty good So we can check that uh, the sound system is working fine. So now what to do if you are outside like going for a party or picnic and uh, you need Bluetooth audio system. So you have a portable use USB powered uh, speaker system but you don't have any uh, power output source like this. So this system can work this USB dongle can work with power banks also so I'll show you how uh, so we have an MI 20,000 mAh power bank this is a fast charging power bank so we can uh, connect it directly to this disconnect it so we have connected to this okay and we can also connect to the USB power of the speaker system and it's 3.5 mm jack so they, that's it so it's connected so let's try some music. So let's try any music. FND mini soundbar system which I have it's a USB powered device So as you can see it works flawlessly with even power banks also. So you can take it anywhere wherever you want. So guys I would like to tell all of you that there is another trick uh, which you can do with your uh, Bluetooth audio receiver that is you can route laptops or your desktop PCs audio via this Bluetooth receiver also. So that uh, sounds very cool, isn't it? So I will show you the steps. It's very very easy. Just one two minute steps. So first of all, uh, open your Bluetooth configuration. 
in your laptop or desktop if your desktop has an uh, Bluetooth receiver so here there is an B icon that is the Bluetooth devices right click and add a device and so then uh, it will search for devices so as you can see our Bluetooth device yet M1 is detected so click on that and click on next so it's connecting and adding device see it says installation is your device is ready to use so you have connected successfully your uh, Bluetooth device with your laptop so uh, let's test a song whether it's played by the speaker system or not let's try this one no so it's not playing via uh, speaker system rather it's playing from the laptop uh, speaker system so what uh, we can do uh, there are two tricks to resolve this uh, so let me show you how to resolve this uh, how to bring the audio from your speaker system paired Bluetooth speaker system so first uh, we launch the Bluetooth settings and then right click and then show Bluetooth devices so a window will open with our devices which is paired so double click on it and it is searching for services so here you can see one op option is there uh, listen to music you can click on it and it will then enable music uh, sharing with uh, your music system so we are clicking on it so its connection is established so let's try now Paired. also the bluetooth uh, receiver gives a prompt paired so let's try the song now no not still no luck so don't worry uh, I'll show you the second trick also if this doesn't work what happens the uh, default uh, sound output must have been the laptop speakers only that's why we are facing this issue so for this we will open control panel here start menu control panel and then go to sound option here you can see sound so just click on it and uh, here you can see that the speakers are set as by default device so we have to set the bluetooth headphones as our device primary device so let's uh, right click it and then click on set as default device so we clicked so now the tick mark is given over the bluetooth uh, speaker headphone icon so that means it's paired so we can also try now now we can try that song again it should play <laughs> So yes, it's playing now, finally. As you can see that uh, it is working flawlessly now in this way you can uh, connect uh, your laptops or desktop audio via this Bluetooth uh, receiver to your music systems and home theaters so it's very easy process after you are done you may uh, turn off the Bluetooth and then it will uh, disconnect. disconnected so it gives a prompt also disconnected so it's a perfect solution for all your Bluetooth system worries so you can make it wireless and also this device is very very cheap you can afford it no no need to go for uh, high priced branded stuff you can 
just implement it on your existing system only no problem will be there and also i noticed that after using this bluetooth uh, device for playing the music the music quality and uh, bass quality somewhat uh, improved actually uh, it the bass was boosted a uh, little bit more because uh, i don't know why because using wear maybe some transmission loss was happening but using bluetooth the sound quality was better from my smartphone so that's it guys you have the answer you get it i'll provide the links in the description where to buy it you can buy it and also comment down below your queries if you have any if you face any difficulty i'll try to answer them and if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to show your support to our channel thank you guys hope you have a nice day peace out